My monthly salary is deducted around 2,600 NT dollars, a significant amount, but I believe it will result in greater future benefits. It also helps me save money as I tend to spend my wages quickly upon receiving them. According to recent data from the Bureau of Labor Insurance, approximately 13.5% of Taiwan's workforce, which amounts to over 1 million workers, voluntarily contributed to their pension accounts in March. Under the Labor Pension Act, employers are required to deposit at least 6% of their employees' monthly salary into their pension accounts, while employees have the option to contribute up to 6% of their salary. However, individuals with tight budgets may need to reconsider their voluntary contributions. A person earning over 150,000 NT dollars per month can comfortably handle their general expenses and potentially have a surplus. However, for someone with a monthly salary of 50,000 NT dollars, rent and other costs already constitute a significant portion of their income. Statistics from the Bureau of Labor Insurance indicate a correlation between higher salaries and a greater willingness to contribute to pension accounts. Experts argue that this policy primarily benefits wealthier individuals due to the associated tax deductions for higher contributions. They suggest that workers with lower salaries should begin saving earlier and propose that the government provide stronger incentives for voluntary contributions to pension accounts. The labor insurance will reform in the future. In other words, its economic security will become smaller, so workers will have to rely on their savings to fill this gap. As Taiwan continues to transition into an aging society, with a shrinking labor force and a growing elderly population, securing a well-prepared retirement will require significant effort. Wang Haoyu, Chen Ruhan, Jamie Lin Pinzon, TVBS World Taiwan.